are women who try to do everything right just so a man can choose me. Yeah, cut that shit out. Because I'm going to keep it real with you. Men already know what they want in a woman and who they want. But if you're so nurturing and you're an asset and it's not you, they'll never tell you to stop doing what you're doing because it's beneficial. And I don't want to hear none of that shit like, oh, I'm just a nice person. I'm genuinely like that. Well, bitch, you're going to genuinely get played. No, it's just that I'm just naturally like that. Like the shit I do for him is natural. And your natural ass is going to get played. If you that, Like I want him to be that. I think my biggest flex is how I treat my man. And I've been known to love people back to health. And sometimes it's very draining. What's going on, you guys? And welcome back to a different perspective. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button for your boy. So we're about to check out a couple of videos of women being entitled and being called out for it in public. We haven't done a video like this in a while, but before we get into it, I'm happy to announce that this video is sponsored by none other than T Gently. Now, fellas, y'all done heard me talk about their products before, and y'all gonna continue to hear me talk about them because I know how well the products work and I know how much it will have a positive impact on your lives. And I still don't think a lot of y'all believe me when I tell you how much implementing a skincare routine into your daily schedule will have on your self-esteem. Teach Henley makes taking care of your skin uncomplicated. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing you don't. I recommend you start it with the level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 and a PM moisturizer. And to make your life a lot easier, each box comes with one of these little instruction cards that lets you know when to use each product, how much to use and in what order. This little card comes in clutch. Skincare wasn't something that I always took serious, but now that I have started, I wish I'd done it a lot sooner. And if you don't want to take my word for it, head over to the website. You'll see they got over 5,000 five-star reviews. And because Teach Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the link down in the description box below and get 30% off your first order and a free gift. Don't miss out on this great deal. Click that link down in the description box right now and get started today. Now back to your video. Y'all see what it says? A woman checked a man for pulling out a stack of money after refusing to buy her a hundred dollar pair of Versace slides. Yeah, man. You know, got that dog shit on me. Are you fucking serious? What? <laughs> you got all that money, and you wouldn't buy me the hundred dollar pair of slides I wanted. What are you talking about? I asked you to buy me the slides in there. They're Versace, and you said no. I'm not gonna buy you those. I don't have no money. Are you gonna pull that fat ass wad of cash? Yeah, I right don't up? got no money for you. <laughs> Who the fuck is you, bitch? Big, I'm not big. You can, bro. You ain't a. And no. then I asked you, bro, can we go eat? You said, yeah, but you're gonna have to pay for your own meal. Okay, I don't give a fuck, bitch. That's what I look crazy. like. Yo, sugar daddy, I no, don't got but it. But you got all that fucking money. He's like, I don't got it. I don't got it for this bitch. <laughs> I know the internet mad at him for this one. Look what the internet had to say. He said, you corny for that. Corny. It's f***ing me up. Ask me to go to the mall. Listen. You want to go to the mall? Oh, yeah. I got to buy some stuff anyway. Ask me, can we go eat afterwards? Listen. But then we get to the mall, and she want me to buy her some shit. What? And then she want me to pay for her food. What? The entitlement. You, you look, look, look. He is not wrong for what he did whatsoever. You're not supposed to be asking the person that you invited out to hang out with you for them to pay for stuff for you. What? She gonna hit this man up and say, hey, you wanna go to the to the mall and eat some food? And then expect for him to buy her the stuff? She crazy. I ain't got it. <laughs> who the f is you? Like, I don't know who the f is you to be even be. Like, what are you talking about? You know me, shorty. You know I'm not giving you nothing. <laughs> we said, well, we talked about this plenty of times. And a girl will try it too. A female will try it to see if you really about what you say. I ain't giving a bitch a dollar. She know this. So why is you being like, now you now you disrespecting me. Now you like, oh, you I'm obligated to give you my money and I'm corny? You a bag of corn. <laughs> <laughs> Fool for that, gonna say, I'm corny, you a bag of corn. 
if you're a 10 <laughs> and this guy was a from, five oh uh, uh, you're like you lost how me. did that go because how'd you do that and then like try to come this? back can i be real with you look what if that guy found you know certain traits in that so-called girl, five rather than you maybe you didn't peep that situation where he was communicating to you as best as he could right mm-hmm. maybe it was Whenever he vented to you, you know, you put him down. Maybe in that five. And if y'all don't understand what's going on, these women are confused as to why a man will pick a lesser attractive woman over them. And he's explaining. You found that, I don't know, I guess closure or leisure or whatever that situation he's so is. Right. That's how yeah, yeah. Okay. Mind. I do not know what it is with women in this generation where they're just not. <laughs> Screws are just loose up here, baby. <laughs> Screws are loose. Follow me, ladies. Please understand this. Men, yes, are visual creatures, but when they get to a certain age, whether you want to believe it or not, I think it's when everybody gets to a certain age. You just get tired of fucked over. Mm -hmm. And not to be disrespectful because this is not true for everybody, Mm -hmm. but a lot of beautiful women think that that's all they need to keep a man. Oh, I got a nice pair of tits. I got a nice ass. I got a pretty smile. She has all those things and more. You got to have more. What does that do when you got a mouth on you? When you're disrespectful when you have attitude problems, when you're not financially stable, your credit is shot. Facts. Facts. It's, uh, you know what's crazy? I ran, I ran into a buddy of mine that I haven't seen in years at um, a restaurant literally over the weekend. And he introduced me to his fiance. Not to be mean, but she would have to be the least attractive woman that I've seen him with. But yet, that's his fiance. What does that tell you? This woman has some traits that those other more attractive women that he were with most certainly don't have. This woman is probably his peace of mind. Ladies, get it together. What does that, I don't know if you have a thong and a big fat ass. What the is that going to do for me when you're making me go nuts in my brain? Facts. When a girl who you sit there and you're saying that, oh, he downgraded, he this, he that. In your eyes, he downgraded. But to him, she's a solid 20. You know why? Yep. Because she cooks meals. She don't open her fucking mouth and disrespect him. Yep. She gives him ass. She gives him a peace of mind. She loves that man wholeheartedly. Yep. I hate that thing when people, girls do that. It's like the girls who do that shit where they go, oh, he's dating a big girl. Uh, uh, this and that. Shut the fuck up. I can't stand girls who talk like that. Maybe he's talking to that girl because she had more to offer than you ever could. But you know what's sad about it, women? You guys in this generation will never know what the accountability is and that's so sad because can you guys ever look and think when women say this ah, i'm sorry i'm gonna be ranting when women go oh my god like he left me for this person he gave her a ring he gave her this he gave her that mm-hmm. y'all just don't sit there and say that you were f- not it right that he tried with you and your mouth and your whatever got in the way of your guys' relationship mm-hmm. y'all can't ever just say that a good woman swept him off his feet and did the job you couldn't do mm. but y'all ain't ready for that conversation let's be they really don't be that job be crazy like a, a woman is capable men too but i've seen women be capable of gaslighting themselves to the point where they ruin the relationship themselves in their brain in their mind everything can be fine out of nowhere everything just goes to shit because of what's going on up in here and it don't even be nothing wrong with the relationship be real here i never hear women to part their lips to say that man deserved better because i didn't give it to him but y'all ain't ready for that you know what i'm gonna pick me out what y'all say but this is why i can't stand this type of conversation because the whole look thing to me is dumb now. Like I'm in a state of mind where I just want to be loved, cared for, and Facts. look should not matter. Yes, looks get you in the door. Yeah. But I'm sorry if you look good and you got a attitude and you're disrespectful and you don't treat me right, you ain't. That's sh- the other thing about when people gaslight themselves to make a situation be something that it's not. What do they always do? They blame the other person. They blame the other person when when you take a step back and really look at things, it's fine. There may not be a whole lot that's wrong with the relationship, but what can end up happening is that they take the little the little situations and they kind of blow them out of proportion. They make them more than what they really have to be. And a lot of times what that is is the individual, and I was trying to tell somebody this recently, that people, some people come up with scripts in their head, movie scripts, and then you play the lead role, but you're constantly altering the script because you're not going off of a script. 
but they expect things to be a certain type of way. They expect for you to react and respond to them a certain type of way. That's what the movie script mentality is. It's amazing to me how much time and energy a lot of women are putting into making sure the entire universe is aware how much they hate men and they think all men are the same. And for them, that means trash. Mm -hmm. It's so amazing because the rhetoric is that men are bad and men do bad things. But you can literally search right now and find tutorials for women on how to manipulate a man. What? How to take advantage of a man. Yeah. How to catch a rich man. Yeah. I haven't seen a single tutorial from any male or any guy on how to manipulate a woman. Like how to catch a rich woman. I ain't seen those tutorials. Have y'all seen those? I don't know if they exist. Maybe. But men are bad. Right. And only men are doing bad things. Right. All these women out on their BS, man. I love to see it. Yeah, watch this. If this ain't the most hypocritical video you will ever see in your life. This pick me's are women who try to do everything right just so a man can choose me. Yeah, cut that shit out. Because I'm keeping it real with you. Men already know what they want in a woman and who they want. But if you're so nurturing and you're an asset and it's not you, they'll never tell you to stop doing what you're doing because it's beneficial. And I don't want to hear none of that shit like, oh, I'm just a nice person. I'm genuinely like that. Well, bitch, you're going to genuinely get played. No, it's just that I'm just... It's funny because... <laughs> It's like she's talking to herself. It's like there's an alter ego here. There's this ego, and then there's the nurturing, the caring, the gonna get played eventually person that is that is this woman too. And she's talking to herself and don't even realize it. Naturally like that. Like the shit I do for him is natural. And your natural ass is gonna get played. That. Like I want him to be that. I think my biggest flex is how I treat my man. And I've been known to love people back to health. And sometimes it's very draining. <laughs> Yo, even this girl cracking up. One thing about social media, y'all gonna pull the receipts every single time. So besties, a couple of months ago, sis was over there talking about how the pick me's are the problem. And now since they and Cam Newton is, she became a pick me for a rich ninja. <laughs> So besties, I attempted to watch the full episode of the podcast, but I just couldn't get into it. I was annoyed about 20 minutes in. Um, but this user says, she says she wouldn't do it if he wasn't rich. Okay, which goes to show that you only doing it for money. You're not doing it because you love the ninja. You're doing it because he's giving you bread. Ain't that something? She's only doing the things that she's doing for him because he's rich. So that means that she is really not that in love with him as she may proclaim. But it's Cam Newton. Does she not know the history? Sis. <laughs> and I mean, at the end of the day, like, I truly believe that the bar is in hell because, like this girl said, the girl is dating Cam Newton, a man who cheated on his longtime girlfriend of 10 years and mother of four of his children and who still goes on vacation with the Latina baby mama till this day. Does that man sound worthy to you? <laughs> I just truly don't understand how a woman can build a platform for herself and then still go after the worst type of men. But this is your reminder not to listen to these internet hosts. Because <laughs> they don't even take their own advice. <laughs> yo! Yo! This is entertainment. This is entertainment at its finest. But I think that's enough for one day. We're going to end it right here. Y'all leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. See ya.